Let's lose legal. And go logo. Welcome back to Bargain Bin Lounge. It's time for round four of You Don't Know June. I like this opening because it's like being at a TV station. I, I know. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, here comes makeup. Hang on. Just, uh, oh. There is background jargon on every screen in this game. There's even ads playing in the background because they're still doing tests before they go live. There's ads, there's jargon, there's background noise, there's background conversations, there's- they, they just put a whole bunch into this. This is, uh, this is a kind of what, what got me into You Don't Know Jack, you know, as, as a fan. Like, the first You Don't Know Jack game that I played was the PSX one back when I was like 12 and I didn't know shit. But now, I am a man. I can appreciate the finer intricacies of the comedy if you don't know Jack. I remember going to a GameStop and seeing this on the lower rung of the 360 games and going, <gasps> They made a new one? Bought it immediately. And then uh, you showed it to me. I fell in love. I got it myself. And well, I guess here we are today. All right. This thing was chock full of content. <laughs> Roma? I don't know. Don't ask me. But Dr. Uh, but <laughs> Dr. Buttfink. Uh-oh. That might have been one of the uh <laughs> I don't know. You know I what? don't know. I don't care. Cool. They'll pick a name for you. So what blew me away when I looked at the box art again, uh this was a thirty dollar THQ game mm -hmm. out of just out of nowhere. And uh there was so much, there were 73 episodes 73, packed into this thing. That's, that's insane. And then you could buy DLC and get 10 episodes of pop, and I think there were a grand total of four. They're yes. no longer available. But uh, yeah, there is so much. So uh, I'm going to close my eyes. And... The further we get into it, the less I remember the answers, because they aren't randomized like the old You Don't Know Jacks. Once you pick an episode, every single time the answers will be the same. Well, yeah, it's like a television game show. I like it! Let's go! We're probably gonna do two rounds, because right, these games are only ten questions apiece. That was the other thing. They shortened everything. Yeah. To, well, streamlined it, I think, is, is the term. I do like to have this play, because the rules have changed. I'll go ahead and play, why not? then percolate on this. You will see a question. When you know the answer in serpitude, select the boutonniere next to it. And you have boutonniere. to watch out for the timer that's ticking away. I love away. this game. The more promptly you buzz in, the more regal tender you'll make. Or, or lose. lose. <laughs> <laughs> because we have more than one player, the screws are back. Uh, those are the just the triggers. Right. Triggers or bumpers? Triggers. Specifically. Triggers. And they'll have only five seconds to find the That's solving. a change to the and screw as well. Oh, yeah. You, you have five seconds. Pull it together, folks. You also I steal a lot more money. Type in your name player too. Yep, I'm calling you late for dinner. Hey, late, for what's dinner? Up? late for dinner. All right. Hey, Early for lunch, though. Oh, Hell yeah. Oh, interns, it's human pinata time. Ten seconds. Off you blow. <laughs> test vibration. Uh, good thing. Oh. Uh, good thing I'm a resident. Six. Oh, oh, it did test vibration. Yep, that's awesome. <laughs> Someone with other people's fingers. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and I invented the crane kick. You hear me, Miyagi? I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you two ready for some down and dirty trivia, or would you just rather mud wrestle? There's I could mud wrestle. For you two. I'm down for either. And our this is one of the big things. Sponsored by Chick of the Sea. So there is a special Starter wrong kids. answer that has no, to do with Chick of the Sea Mermaid Starter Kits. And if you select that, wrong answer of the game, and you'll, you'll be wrong. A great prize and serious cash. Big cash prize for it. Like four and times the off. cash you get per round. Yes. Now, I like the scoring that they have here. Counting down from 20 seconds, the faster you choose your answer, the more money you get. Hannibal yeah. Lecter, health nut. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose Hannibal Lecter wants to eat healthier, so he starts removing the skin before eating a person. What could he make with the leftover skin from one oh, human adult? Oh, uh... Six square foot human skin snuggie? Oh, no! That's what they're asking! Cloth, a 21 square foot human... Players one and two? The surface area of the average adult skin is 21.5 square feet. <sighs> don't... Feet. don't ask me how... Electric. how I know that. I have no Stylish. idea. But I know that. <laughs> And the rugs match any decor. They come in peach, brown, olive, and new freckle. <laughs> Can't wait to get that rug. That would, that would be great in my laundry room. 
How about me, myself, and I think that's a supernova. <laughs> and the eternal sunshine and oh, eternal Jesus. sunshine of the spotless mind only lasted as long as our actual sun is expected Ooh. to last. What would be a more scientifically accurate name for the movie? Like mm -hmm. a zillion more years of sunshine of the spotless mm -hmm. mind, five billion more years. Players one and two. And about Softball five billion years, our sun will blow off its outer surface and become a white dwarf. Oh, and uh, it won't be taking us along for the ride. Not likely, no. No. So if the world no, no, no. will definitely end by then, I might as well quit this diet. <laughs> I hear and you, me, Cookie. And me. Three. Yeah. Here we have comic strip tease. <laughs> Which comic strip character should read the self-help book he's just not that into you? Oh. Me, Lucy Van Pelt, Kathy, or Nancy? Oh, God. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, say player two. Sucks to be you. Yeah, ah! wrong. Player one. You dirty bum. She's he's she's, she's married. Dead. I don't know who she that is. This should have been Lucy. Uh, I, I knew I was. I saw my fuck up right as soon as. Oh. Schroeder, but he's just not that into her. Oh, I forgot that entire aspect of self <laughs> Everybody's Jesus. just not that into you because you're a big downer who sucks the life out of everything. I had Kathy on the brain lately. Oh, there's a whole murder mystery attached to the this four in question as, four. Yes, he was a place with the F. Is brought to you by the letters G, P, and S, and D I S O. I knew it. D A T. Ooh, it's a this or that. Player two. Yep. Oh yes, Your that's you. Your score is the lowest, so why don't you play this this or that? Okay. I'm gonna read off seven names. Mm -hmm. For each, I want you to tell me if it's <laughs> a GPS device for your car, uh -huh. that give you directions, or a character from the children's <laughs> show Yo Gabba Gabba. If it's good luck, GPS, bud. I know my navigation devices, so here we go. If it's Yo Gabba Gabba, <laughs> press your B button. Answer correctly and stay on course. But start getting answers wrong, and you could get lost in the nonsense world of children's television. Player yeah. one. Written so by the Homestar Runner guys, may I add? Two, I didn't know that. Not like creative, but they player helped. Player two gets it wrong, you get that cash. Alright, if I... Here we go, here we go. Destination. Alright, let's get started. Tom Tom. Obvious. Kobe. Gorman. Uh... Trimble. Ah. Rex. Fufa. Uh. Muno. Hmm. Damn. Not bad. Kind of like you drove across country and ended up in the right state, but the wrong city. It happens. You got some good cash. Yeah, that's some money. I Damn. actually use a device similar to a GPS to navigate me through this game. Make fun of any contestant currently playing game. Oh, uh, you stink. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, got me! Oh, how? Oh, this makes my life so much easier. Is that irreverent humor that we're here for? Ooh! This one's called... Never date a princess. Noted. <laughs> Assuming it's true that gentlemen prefer blondes, which of these Disney dates would a gentleman most prefer? Oh. A hot tub dip with Ariel? Oh, uh, uh, I so wanted you to pick this one. Yeah, Alice. We got, we got it, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> as soon as he said Disney, I was like, show me the mermaid. Hell yeah, up here. I think they should change it to dudes prefer Yeah, do your stick, do your stick. Gentlemen their own phrase like gentlemen. Ooh, I was only 20 milliseconds off of you. Players one and two. Bam bam. Ariel the mermaid is not a blonde. But speaking of mermaids, you want some fresh So there are collectibles you can collect in this game. Every single episode has one. Starter kits. Strong, beautiful and obedient. That's a chick of the sea mermaid. Now odorless. Where's the apple go? This wrong answer. Oh no. You an extra 4000. Congratulations. By the way, Cookie, where's the apple go? Cookie, wait. The Value yes, of the one. wrong answer changes like depending on whether it's in round one or round two. Because in round two, all money's doubled. Remember, I'm doubling the value of each question in round two. And remember, you got those screws sitting there. All right. You didn't come here to make. Well, these threads. questions have been kind of. It's in our time period, so we were able well, to solve them. Yeah. <laughs> this is when we were we were uh, cluing into popular culture. College credits. 
I'll be with you in a second. Just need to do an intern interview. So, Jeffrey, are you proficient in Excel, Word, Outlook, snake handling, getting punched in the face, poison ingestion, and yes. PowerPoint? Yes. Uh, say PowerPoint. What? Ah, great. I you know what question he's going to ask. Uh, okay. Suppose Jeffrey's first assignment is to sleep in a box with the animal responsible for most human pets. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. Purposes or something. Or something. What is deadly roommate be? A hungry wolf? There you go. Player two, you've been screwed. Uh, would, you uh, what you got? Do, 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 do. No, I'm not allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you screw player one. So violent. So would it be a you bear? Even more cash. Player one, mosquitoes as carriers of malaria. Oh, really? Disease. Malaria. Oh. For over two million human deaths each year. Two million? I didn't know that. Oh, wow. Well, I mean, you know, in like Africa, like that, that makes sense. some parts of Asia, I bet. And America, maybe. Damn. Oi! Coming up, Ramy River. Ha! <laughs> what would you find in a collection of raiments from Sam Raimi? Oh, come on! Yep. Oh, you're screwed, player. Oh, you're not even gonna. Uh, 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 raiment? Uh, here. The term raiment refers to apparel or clothing, like Toby's Spider Man. Yes! It's I was hoping that you didn't know your Sam Raimi, but it turns out you knew your. I know my Sam Raimi. You, you, you knew your English derived from French words. <laughs> There's a very eight. We've been playing this too long. Why not try? <laughs> They're catchy. I know. I love that. <laughs> Is you all right? Question. Now an extra thousand bucks for a correct answer. Oh, nice. Here we go. Place these wishbones in the chronological order of their first appearance. The salad dressing, the dog TV show, the college football. The salad dressing, the college football offense, the dog TV show, the college football offense, the salad dressing, the dog TV show, or the college football offense, the salad dressing, the dog TV show, or the college football offense, the salad dressing, the dog TV show, or the college football offense, the salad dressing, the dog TV show, or the college football offense, the salad dressing, the dog TV show, or the college football offense, the salad dressing, the dog TV show, or the college Lipton started manufacturing yeah! salad dressing in 1958. What's the story, Wishbone? What's this you're thinking of? Started in 1995. I didn't know Lipton made the salad dressing. Grand. Huh. The salad cool. Dressing yeah, Wishbone's a Lipton brand of salad dressing. I never get it, though. Oh, no, me neither. <laughs> Alas. <laughs> oh. oh, man! What's the story, what the hell? <laughs> Say hello to Yo Yo Mama. <laughs> yo Yo Ma. I love Yo Mama jokes <laughs> because Yo Mama is really fat and or stupid. <laughs> Finish this Wait, yo and mama or joke with the casino game where you can bet Yo Mama. <clears throat> yo Mama Ooh. is so fat. If you poke her, she'll flop. She straight up roulette herself go. Her slots are really loose, or she craps eleven. <laughs> Player two. <laughs> Oh, she did that too, but no. <laughs> one. In the game of craps, you yes! can bet on yo or yo eleven, which just means eleven. See, I don't play craps, so. And speaking of craps, yo mom is so ugly. I play. Walks by the I, I play poker. A little bit. Snap. I do too. I play roulette and Dragon Quest. Like, give me all the poker questions. Hold them. Five card draw. Doesn't matter. Here's one I like uh -huh. to call. G Wiz. In the movie The Wiz, The Wiz is a giant fire-breathing head. Why is this ironic? It was played by Michael Jackson, whose head once caught on fire. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh shit! I don't know this. By Russell, whose head once caught on fire, or he was played by Nicolas Cage. Oh! oh one. Nipsey Russell Fuck. is never the correct answer. Oh man! Player two. It was Richard, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor's hair caught on fire in real life while free basing, and he played the Wiz in the musical The Wiz. Oh no! <laughs> People need to be more careful when handling flames. He was better in The Wiz than Superman 3. Comedians are a lot funnier when they're not on cocaine. Ah! Ah! Cookie! I'm the Wiz! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'll say when my head catches fire next time. Now for the final round! The Jack Attack! Step right up to the Jack Attack. When you see two clues that match, press your. I'm glad button. this part has stayed throughout the entire right, franchise. Wrong, yeah, was it always a horror film at the end of the of the show? And yes, it was. Yes, it was. Remember the clue. What do you got? 
It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. I want your real autograph. Oh, fucking pen stars. names? Oh. Bjork. Madonna. Oh, okay, so just the name they're known by? Yes. Pretentious! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I... Yeah, you would know these a lot more. Share. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sacrificing my score. Chastity! Pink! <laughs> Was share. Oh, that makes sense. Who is Richard Hall? I I don't know. Definitely not Bjork. Funky. Funky. There. Oh. I need to get at least one. That's a band. Is that Bono? I think it was. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. How much is there? God help! There's only seven. I late for dinner took it. Son of a bitch. Player two <sighs> winner. Such a commanding <laughs> lead. <laughs> Good job taking it from behind. Oh, wow. I'm the one who gets to say. Happy Pride Month, by the way. You don't know, Jack. Well, Good game, that was insane. Next. We got time for another. We do. Let's go. I'm going to change my name. So am I. I want to see what they give me. I don't care either. Maybe they'll give us like a, oh, well, you're, you're uh, Tweedledee and Tweedle uh, D2. That sounds good. Uh, go ahead and pick your episode. Okay, as for me, I will just go. Let the thing go down. Let the... All right. Yep. Actually, I want to start at 42 here, which is that'll work. Yeah. Okay. Stop. You suck. That was a good one. Oh, I would have been 69. Ah! Terrible. Ooh. Terrible. So close. What a two-bit joke. Hey, they make the joke. I see that neither of you were born with names. Let's call you Player 5 and Player 9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Player yeah! 9! Player 9! Check submarine, please. All right, let's piss them off. No more waiting. Right. No more waiting. <laughs> it's like they feel like Today, like indignant, but not like offended. Exactly. It's like, okay, okay, fine. No, you got places to be. Cloud registry. It may <laughs> look like a duck, but it's named after you. <laughs> like right, register a cloud in my name. Great. I do that all the time. The government can't <laughs> stop me. <laughs> I love these products. Kicking things off, I will schmear you. No. <laughs> no, that's not what I asked for, Keith. I specifically asked for some everything bagels. But these bagels just have poppy seeds, sesame seeds, salt, and onion. Well, that's not everything, is it? These should be called four thing bagels. Now, if I wanted to punish Keith using a traditional bacon <laughs> technique, what would I do? Boil him, then bake him. Fry him, then bake him. Steam him, then fry him. Oh, uh, Player there we one. go. Your answer is saturated and wrong. They boil the, the dough. The traditional way to prep bagels is to boil the dough first, then bake them. Boil? Don't oh yes. I didn't know that. So it gets it's a uh, like crunchy outer shell. It's a uh, tough outer shell. I will, I think. however, punish him with a hmm. tickle fight. <laughs> Easy come there, here, Dan. Keith, come here. I know everything bagels don't have everything on them. I was just cloning you. And then he Stuck fell out a window inside a bagel. Let's try. I'm feeling a little incontinent. If you were to combine the number two question, continent huh? and the largest continent, what would it be called? Asiarctica, Australia, South America, Arctica, <clears throat> or Australasia? No, no ideas. 
player two. Australia is a combination of Australia the smallest and Asia the largest. <laughs> Combining the names of two things is fun. For example, um, no, I, I can't think of any more. Player one, your performance is going South America Arctic up. I know. Antarctica ain't that big, and it's just getting smaller and smaller and Buckle smaller. Up for World of Wonder. Put the voices in order and in to see if you are right. <gasps> question! And I'm gonna make a right answer oh, on exciting. this question worth 1,000 wondrous dollars more. Extra Here biggins! Ooh. Put these things in the order they first appeared in the world. Wonder Woman, the Wonder Bra, Stevie Wonder. Wonder Bra, Wonder Woman, Stevie mm. Wonder. Wonder Bra, Stevie Wonder, Wonder Woman. Mm. Wonder Woman, Stevie Wonder, Wonder Bra. Or Stevie Wonder, Wonder Woman, Wonder Bra. <laughs> Players 1 and 2. Wonder Woman made her debut in 1941. Stevie Wonder was born in 1950. The Wonder Bra was invented in 1964. One grand bonus to each of you for getting I knew Wonder one. Woman was old. Like, very. 40s. I'm yeah, very old. Stepmom's a Wonder Woman free. history buff. Invisible bra that plays music called the Stevie Wonder Brahmin. <laughs> <laughs> and now, Aiken May, Aiken Bay. <laughs> Which of the following phrases in Igpe Atnale was originally Itnray in Atnway? <laughs> Oat day, eel my under thay, ong lay in the ooth tay, op stay and else may the oses Player two? That was quality. <laughs> Player one. I was expecting the wrong answer Ooye, of the game there. Say. Damn it! Now pay attention. Seize the day. Seize the day. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Oh. Is a translation of carpe diem, originally written in Latin by Horace in his Odes, Book One. Now, if I could only master cat Spanish, I might finally know what Poopsie and Mayonnaise have been saying about me behind my back. You don't want to know. I I can't repeat it. A lot of slurs in that language. It's so bad. A lot of hurtful, Coming angry up. language. If it weren't for bathrooms, I get no reading done. And it's a diss or dat. <laughs> that's, hey. that's for me. There you go. Player one. You think you can increase your score a bit with this? Player five, you mean? I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's uh... a magazine I could keep in the bathroom, or <laughs> just something I do in the bathroom. <laughs> what? Oh no! Press your X button. All right. It's not a magazine and a bathroom oh. activity only. Press your B button. Okay. Right answers will bring in 300 bucks. Oh. Right answer wrong, and all that goes down the crapper. Player two. Locking player your nine. answer before player one because if player one gets it wrong and you get it right, you, you get money. The cash. Let's get this done in 30 seconds before a line starts to form. <laughs> Let's do it. You got it. Make. Go. Shit. Uh. Stuff. Tweeze. Overspray. Tuck. Parenting. Uh, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Only parenting in the bathroom. Take a shit. Go to the bathroom. The only parent in the bathroom. Back in the positive. <laughs> I suppose I keep a lot of magazines in the bathroom. I'm not a big toilet reader. I just often forget to refill the toilet paper. I didn't see the wrong answer, did you? And and if it isn't out there, he'll still say it's still there. Correct. Well, actually, if you miss it, he also Andy, says all the it, that it's really still missing. Double. If you no, wait, wait. if you hint, hint. if you yeah, miss it, there. if you miss it in the first round, he won't say it again. Okay, no, he will. He won't. Yes, he will. No, he won't. It will say. I don't think he will. He will. I've done it before. I've done it before too, and he hasn't. Well, he doesn't like you. Here's I love you too. Lit happens. Children's books are so boring. If you ask me, they lack the tragedy of classic Russian literature. If I adapt Bleh. a version of Tolstoy's Anna Karenina for children, what should I call it? Yes! yes fuck. Is a new player too. Five seconds to make a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Karenina ends with Anna, grief-stricken, throwing herself under the train her departing lover rides in. Awesome. I don't think you get the wrong answer. Everyone in this story. If you dump someone, don't let them know exactly how you're getting out of town. Because I'm gonna get hit, but I don't. Th I don't think it counts towards the wrong answer. Oh, it's gonna mean? skip it. That wasn't the wrong hit. Huh? Yeah, we just skipped it. What was it? It was 
cloud was the wrong it's answer of the game. For, yeah, but a classic piece of but, junk. But because I screwed you, it didn't give you the wrong answer. Well, nobody car, gets it. Wherever the listing says a car is vintage, it usually I mean, unless it has it's still out there. Thousand miles, or doesn't have a steering wheel. If CarMax started selling vintage cars instead of used cars, which of these popular vintage models would be the oldest and most vintage? Any ideas? Player one, you've been screwed. You got five seconds to pick an answer. <laughs> Player two, that's the wrong screw, answer. Baby. Grab a few more bucks, why don't Stratus. you? Stratus. Damn it. Allow me. Toyota Corolla was first manufactured in 1966, making this car the oldest and most vintage. And let me tell you, if you've never been in a 66 Toyota Corolla... I wonder if uh, you got the wrong answer if you're, like, you get screwed but get the wrong answer of the game, do you still... Stratus, I don't think so, because, well, you might take screw damage. I think that's how that works. On them instead. Science. With a cloud named after you from the cloud registry. But my, Immortalize yourself but my name's not... I'm, no, I'm your not name is Player 9. I'm not named Andrew. The it's, the that's not it. But I'm not Andrew. It doesn't belong store. to me. This is I'm the not Andrew. one person who actually did it. And then they close shop. <laughs> it's always mine. And then it's a clear sunny day. Oh. Man. This one's known as... All signs point to, huh? Huh? Which of the following is an arrow team? That, 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 or that <laughs> thing? Sure. Player one. And... no. <laughs> Player two. An arrow team is the fancy pants name for a question mark. But cool. I suppose if you refer to a question mark as an arrow team, the more would be like the biggest nerd to know what the what actual the terms the are for you? punctuation. Nerd. My favorite is like Intero Bang. You look trashy in that. <laughs> wow, this garbage bag looks so beautiful. It must be from someone who really knows fashion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Funky oh, trash. <laughs> this game is great. I miss it. A set of angel wings, a sealed demo tape, and some designer baby diapers. What supermodel's trash am I rooting through? Cindy Crawford, Kate Moss, oh. Tyler Banks, or Heidi Klum? Uh, That's a bullshit guess from me. Uh, sure. Players one and two. Oh shit. Heidi Klum was one of Victoria's Secret's original angels, and recently had a baby with husband Seal. Oh, bravo! And this is All right. the first time hey, I worked through her garbage. Hold me, never let me go. Am I dreaming? Question time. Devil, damn it! I call Aww. this one beans, beans, the magical misnomer. Coffee beans, which really aren't beans at all, are seeds from the fruit of a coffee plant. With that in mind, which of these delicious beverages incorporates the name of the coffee plant's fruit <laughs> which could exist? Uh, Orange Crush, Coffee Grape Kool-Aid, Coffee Cherry 7-Up, or Coffee Peach Schnapps? The name of the coffee plant's fruit? Uh, uh, player two? Mm. Okay. Ah! Player one. No schnapp being a fool. No! I hope they're it not cool, Ed. To be picked. They're cherries. The I was looking at the name of the drink. Oh! Looking at the name of the drink. Like oh! seeds of coffee cherries. Are they called Crush? Because it's I've like the it's coffee it's been... cherries all day, and I've got to say they are delicious. I probably shouldn't have eaten so many because I'm starting to feel weird. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's finish this up. You got it. Oh, I'll just shut my mouth then. <laughs> yes, you will. How do you say TV show in British? <laughs> oh no! Oh, well, you know okay. what? All right. If you're here. profoundly in the negative, here go, go hard. Blimey! Yes! Oh, you're just going for it all then, ain't you? All right. I haven't gotten the achievement for a million points. Lost in the jack attack. I don't think I can even get it because I keep getting the question right! Oh, my thumb is tired. 
Can we take over? <laughs> Jeremy Dodgers! American Gladiators, that's Just slow Gladiators, down. yes I am. Alright, go! No! British <laughs> Britain's got talent! Fly me! The office! Men with beards! Fish and flips! Strictly come dancing! Ooh. The office! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> And enjoy your win! Boom! Oh! oh to the oh! <laughs> it! You lost a player two in such a devastating manner. It's not that you can never show your. Well, I'm going to count your again. score Let's before we did that disastrous Jack attack as your final scores. And I think uh, I had like. 2000 or something like yeah, that. Well, I, was, so, I, will, I, I will not include your disastrous 900 because this haunts you. This will tank your player's score. Oh, definitely. This was the first thing I did, and it took me all 80, like 83 episodes and some of the DLC to get back on top for the other end of the, of the achievement. Can I see my rank? You're a cretin now. I'm a cretin. Oh, I'm a mutton head in real life. Uh, mm -hmm. you're a simpleton. Oh well, I mean, the recommended reading is <laughs> what's mine? A VCR, a VCR manual? manual? Okay, <laughs> an eye chart. <laughs> oh. All right. right, next time on Bargain Bin Lounge, it is the final Ooh. round and our final week of You Don't Know June. It is the most recent iteration of You Don't Know Jack. See you then. <laughs>